that completes the string of examples uh, for this portion of the video. So remember, what were we trying to accomplish here? Well, I've been giving you um, two electron pushing arrows and asking you to draw the new resonance structure. Notice that we did a lot of examples. Uh, why did we do so many examples? Because again, uh, I'm intending these videos for people who find the material difficult. If you find the material difficult, how can you make it less difficult? By doing lots and lots and lots and lots of examples. Now, even what we did might not have been enough. Maybe you have to go out and try to find some more practice problems or just do these problems again. Um, it's only practice that makes this get easier. So what was the big lesson that we should have learned here? Well, again, we've been moving, we've been working with multiple arrows. And the big thing that we saw is that we're always going to end up changing exactly two charges. We change the charge of the atom at the initial tail. And we change the charge of the atom at the final head. We don't change the charges on any of the other atoms in the middle. Because all these other atoms in the middle have heads coming in towards them and tails going out away from them. So we always change exactly two charges. One thing that we're really trying to burn into our minds is that the charges are the key. The whole reason we're doing this is to get the charges right. If you've been doing these problems and you've been doing pretty well, except you've been getting some of the charges wrong, then you're totally blowing it. If you're not getting the charges right, you're totally blowing it. The whole reason we're doing this is to get the charges right. We've also continued to use the redraw and modify technique. And we've shown that you should not just redraw the original structure, but actually redraw all the original arrows. And then you go step by step. You look at the initial tail. You make the changes necessary. Then you erase that tail. Then you go to the next head. You make the changes necessary. Then you erase that head. Then you go to the next tail. You make the changes necessary. You erase that tail. Then you go to the final head. You make the changes necessary. Then you erase that head. I strongly encourage you to use that approach and the notation that I've been using on the board. Now eventually, when you're the master of this material, you won't need to be so careful. But if you're still finding the material difficult, if you're still occasionally missing problems, you need to use this systematic notation. That will speed the day when you don't need the notation anymore. Now in these examples, I've been giving you two arrows at a time. So the next thing that we're going to do is now I'm going to give you a few examples where there's more than two arrows. So I'm still going to be giving you the arrows, but I'm going to give you more than two arrows at a time. And I'm going to ask you to draw the resonance structures. However, at this point, you need to do a little progress check on yourself. Um, so now, um, again, there might be some people who are feeling totally bored and feeling this, we're going way too slow and this is so easy. Good. Bored is good. Um, if you've been getting all these questions right totally easily, then you're ready to go on to the next set of the videos. However, if you feel that you actually learned quite a bit from these last examples, if you're actually getting some of these problems wrong, getting some of the charges wrong, you're getting some things wrong, um, then before you go on to the next set of videos, you should go back to where the set of examples began and do them all over again. You need to keep doing these examples until you've totally mastered them. There's no point going on to the next step in the videos until you've totally mastered this material. Maybe some of you felt like you mastered it a long time ago. Great, keep going. But if there's anybody out there who had any trouble with these examples, go back to the beginning of those examples and try them again before you proceed. I'm going to put an annotation on the YouTube video here, and if you click on that annotation, it'll take you back to the beginning of the set of examples, so you can go through them again if necessary.